But anyway, so I've got this clip here, and this is, let me just tell you, this is one hell of a clip. So I'd like to start this segment, um, and I've got a clip here from Jimmy Dore. I'd like to start this segment by uh, giving uh, some wise words of a former president of the United States, uh, because I really think that the following quote um, really sums up this uh, two-minute clip here, this excerpt. Only the really... I hate to say this, but those with the lowest IQ. All right, folks. So this is a clip of Jimothy Dore, uh, Jimbo Dumbo, and Glenn Greenwald, uh, who is also extremely, very, very much so a bad person. And, oh, you might be triggered. You might be in the comments section. How dare you? Well, I'll tell you why. Don't worry. Uh, so uh, this clip is, it's baffling, folks. This one is... Again, you know, I just, it's its a real, like, for your mental and physical well-being, I, this clip, I no mean... No good, really bad for you. It's not a good situation to be in a, in a world where this clip enters your auditory uh, and visual uh, sensory, you know, location. So, let's watch. Jimmy Dore. Uh, I don't even know how to intro this, so let's watch. A silver lining for me is that show that's popular and successful and i get to sell out theaters now because people at the new york times washington post now the intercept they all suck so horribly that i can do a better job than them hi and i do so okay with that being said i just like my problem with this clip and and my i have a very large problem with this clip and my problem first and foremost is that he is comparing himself to fucking journalistic outlets. Like, he is not uh, comparing himself to commentators. He's not comparing himself to above it all. Like, oh, I do such a good job that, you know, I'm way better than above it all. I'm way better than, you know, because obviously Jimmy Dore thinks about me uh, and being better than me. But my problem with this clip is, again, he's comparing himself to journalists. He is not a journalist. He is uh, a talk show person. He is a host of a talk show, right? So, I don't, like, the idea that he can be better than someone who does investigative reporting, I, I just don't know what that means. That's like saying, oh, well, I'm better than every basketball player in the world. Why? Well, because I've got 20 people watching my YouTube show. So, that's that makes me better than these other people that work in a different industry. Like, you know, it's like, what the fuck? Um, it, it's bizarre. It, it really is a tremendously bizarre uh, situation. And then the other thing, the other thing is he, he said, oh, I'm just a jagoff pothead comedian. Well, I've got news for you. You're not the only jagoff pothead comedian. In fact, I'm about to put pot in my head right now, which I do not endorse because it kills kids. Uh, as we learned from the governor of Nebraska, if you do weed, it will kill your kids. That being said, let's, let's restart this clip and then listen to it in depth while I pack this bowl, man. A silver lining for me is that I get to have a show that's popular and successful, and I get to sell out theaters now because people at the New York Times, Washington Post, now The Intercept, they all suck so horribly that I can do a better job than them. Hi. And now, I wait, do. I'm sorry, I have to pause. Because Glenn Greenwald here... Now, I, I said this earlier in my show, but for those watching the segment, um, what a lot of these podcasters do, uh, like Jimmy Dore, for example, excels at this, is he has a hype man in his, uh, in his show. Like, whenever he's talking to someone, that person will always agree with everything he says. Uh, so look at what Jimmy Dore is about, or what Glenn Greenwald is about to do. Look at what Glenn Greenwald is about to do, right? Glenn Greenwald's role, he's being interviewed, but his role at this current moment in the podcast is to be the hype man. So let's watch. Um, it doesn't take much. Well, and, and let me and let, let me let, let me just say, because, you know, I, I see your show a lot. I'm not trying to, like, return compliments. I just want to make this point, like, with your show. I watch your show. I don't watch it all the time. I watch it a lot. And so what does Glenn Greenwald do immediately? Um, it, he's the hype man. It's like, oh, I, you know, I, I'm not trying to just return compliments here, but I watch your show, Jimmy. I love your show. Your show is amazing. All the investigative journalism you do by sitting in your chair and talking about how much you hate AOC, that's good stuff. That's great investigative reporting. Like, Glenn Greenwald is, a, like, I disagree with him as a commentator. I think he's a garbage political pundit. As far as political pundits are concerned, I think he is trash. Like, I'm not, I'm talking about, like, F tier, maybe D tier at the best. The guy is garbage when it comes to punditry. 
But Glenn Greenwald, as an investigative reporter, pretty good. I'm not going to lie. As an investigative reporter, the guy is... He's done some really impressive work in his life, and you can't take that away from him. So, the idea that Glenn Greenwald is just going to let Jimmy Dore compare himself to investigative reporters, I mean, while he himself is an investigative reporter, it's curious. It's interesting. And, you know, I think that, you know, I used to get this all the time, ironically, like, people, you know, like, these journalists who, like, call up the CIA and then publish what they're told to say yes. by saying a CIA, you know, operative... Told and just know. a reminder, I uh, want to give everyone a reminder that uh, I believe Jimmy Dore got an $8,000 gift. He got a gift from the Syrian government. $8,000. It was a gift. Just, you know, we're buddies. Uh, we used to go to high school together and, uh, you know, <laughs> we're buddies. I mean, it, was just, it was just a gift. <laughs> That's what he said on his show. I think I made a video about that uh, a couple of months ago. But Jimmy Dore went on his show, and someone was like, people keep saying I'm owned by the Syrian government, but all they did was send me a gift. Yeah, he just got a gift. And then coincidentally just said exactly what they wanted him to. But, hey, Glenn Greenwald is about to talk about something that's totally not relevant to Jimmy Dore. Told to say yes. by saying a CIA, you know, operative told me anonymously, and they think that's real reporting. <laughs> and they would say, I don't do real reporting. I do media criticism. Yeah. As though that's something different to me. If you, if you... So, Glenn Greenwald just said that there is no difference between media criticism and investigative journalism. Like, I... What? <laughs> I'm just saying, like, what? Um, I'm so confused right here. I'm so confused. So, media criticism is the same as fact-gathering. So, me calling someone on the phone, right? Let's say someone got shot, and I called their neighbor... And saying, hey, uh, neighbor, um, what happened? What's the scoop? That is the same thing as going on my show and saying, you know, Don Lemon said something I disagree with, and here's why. Like, those are, the, those are equivalent activities in the, in the, in the realm of po politics in, in, to these people. They think that. Like, do they actually, or are they just saying words here? I don't you know. know. dissect what media propaganda is, and you show why it's propagandistic and deceitful and baseless and manipulative and wrong that is reporting that's real reporting you're showing the public why and how the dominant messaging that they're receiving that's being transmitted to them by the most powerful institutions is misleading them because you're showing them what the actual truth is or at least what there's no evidence to believe and I just want to say, for the record, I do agree with media criticism. I do media cri criticism on my show all the time. If I'm reading an article from any outlet and I disagree with the way things are worded, I will be very explicit with my disagreement. Like, for example, earlier today, uh, I was reading a piece about Matt Gates, and they tried to, like, throw in that he, uh, like, his friend paid off someone in the porn industry or something. I was like, I don't care about that. Who cares? What I care about is him involved, being involved in sex trafficking, not him paying people that are gainfully employed. I don't care about that. Now, if it's sex trafficking, that's a problem. If it's someone consensually doing what they want to do with their time and, and with their life, I have no issue with that. So again, media criticism is extremely important. But investigative journalism, fact-finding, and media criticism are different games. They are not the same. For Jimmy Dore to compare himself to someone who's a, like actually calling people, actually trying to find out what the facts are, I'm sorry, those are different things. Yes, you can criticize the spin and how these media things report that. That being said, again, they are not real. Like, they are similar. It's like how being a fry cook... And being a, a sandwich artist are similar, right? Like, you you know, one person makes the food, the other constructs it into an edible form. They are similar, but they are not the same thing. That is my main criticism here at this point. That's clip. what you do. I watch your segments. You're, there's a lot of preparation that goes into them. You kind of... Jimmy Dore famously um, admitted on a pre-stream that he was not recording and he did not air with someone else that they recorded and aired that he never googles anything he didn't know who kyle rittenhouse was we're not talking about like eight months ago we're talking about two like maybe two months ago maybe a month ago jimmy Dore never heard of kyle rittenhouse who is that who is it? boogaloo boys kyle rittenhouse what is that i've never heard of that so now glenn greenwald is again and the reason I say this is not because I personally want people to respect Glenn Greenwald. I want people to hate Glenn Greenwald. That is my personal political ideology. 
I want people to see what Glenn Greenwald really is and to criticize him heavily and dislike him for what he says. He is anti-trans. He dislikes bi bisexual people. Like, who does that? Glenn Greenwald does, right? But Glenn Greenwald is. He does have a body of work that is impressive. And that is a factual statement. So when I say that, right, I want to use that in a way to disarm people from thinking that his really good body of work is indicative of him as a person. It is not the case. Like, you know, there's a lot of people that do good things that are horrible people personally. So again, I want to be very clear about that. But Glenn Greenwald is using the fact that he does have that a, a very established body of work. He is using that to lend credence to Jimmy Dore, who does no work. He's not an investigative reporter. He's a fucking shithead talk show host. Now again, if people watch Jimmy Dore for entertainment, fine. If you're just watching someone for entertainment value, that's all well and good. You don't have to believe everything they say if they're entertaining. Great, right? But again, he's trying to lend his, his credence as an investigative journalist to make other people think Jimmy Dore is, uh, again, an investigative journalist, a freedom fighter, someone on the front lines of the information war or something. There's no evidence to believe. And that's what you do. I watch your segments. You're, there's a lot of preparation that goes into them. You kind of, you know, you, you, you dissect. Notice how Glenn is struggling. Like, Glenn is like, and look at Jimmy Dore. Jimmy's like smiling. He's like, mm, look at me, I'm Jimmy. Woo, my guest is doing exactly what they came here for. Woo, let me rub my hands together. Right? But notice how Glenn is like, wow, man, I, I started this sentence and I really wish I knew how to end it because, okay, he's good at, oh, uh, he's good. All right, he's good. He's, he's, uh, he's, He's, uh... <laughs> you kind of, um, you know, you, you, you dissect individual paragraphs, you show where the propaganda is, and for me, your show really does do more journalism than 90% of the people who work in these digital media outlets who call themselves journalists. I learned- So when does Jimmy Dore call people? When does he get facts? When is he doing Freedom of Information Act requests? What the fuck? He's not a journalist. What is this bizarre conflation with journalism and talk show? I am not a journalist. I am a talk show person. I have a talk show. I get on a camera. I read other people's journalism and dissect that into a, a, a you know, a, a consumable format. They are not the same thing. I am not going out there on a fact-finding quest trying to find out what's going on with the water supply and fucking whatever the fuck. That's not me. That's not what I do. Now, some people do both journalism and punditry. Some people do that. That is not me, that is not Jimmy Dore, and that is Glenn Greenwald. And again, that's what I said, Glenn Greenwald does have a relatively impressive body of work, but as a pundit, he's garbage, he's disgusting. He's a personally reprehensible clown who's always wrong on almost everything, right? So, and that, and that's what you, you have to have that distinction, I, I think, personally, maybe you do. But again, the conflation of that, and Glenn Greenwald, again, having that impressive body of work and using that and leveraging that credibility to conflate those two things to say, yes, Jimmy Dore, he's a jur not only is he a journalist, but he is the greatest journalist in the history of journalists. He's a great journalist. Jimmy Dore, a journalist. No, 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 I'm serious. And not only is he a journalist, he's a great one. He's amazing. Percent of the people who work in these digital media outlets who call themselves journalists. I learn more watching a segment of your show about some news item than I do reading the bullshit that they spew out. Half the time they're not even talking about news anyway, but even when they are, what? it's just regurg- Also, who's they? This is the other thing that these people do is they love to have the mysterious they. They're always criticizing someone, they. Like who? Like the New York Times writes one bad article. And again, I hate the New York Times, right? But the New York Times writes one bad article and now all of a sudden they. They are so bad. I learn more watching a show on your, a segment on your show than I do from them. Like, who's they? What? Like, is they everyone besides Jimmy Dore? So Jimmy Dore versus the world? Who the hell is they? Urgitation of what all their friends and media are saying without a molecule of critical thought being devoted to it. Look at this guy's face. He doesn't even need to say anything before this clip learn ends. More. Look at this. Look at his face. Segment of your show Look at this. About some the narcissism. Item, Look at and it. And I do reading the bullshit that they spew oh, out. See? Oh, see his I'm eyes widen, his smile widening. Anyway, he's excited. He knows this interview is going spectacularly. He knows 
when he looks at the stream analytics page that his super chats are going to be heavily higher than they are normally he knows that his shares his likes are going to be higher he knows that this is good shit he knows that this is going to get on twitter he knows people are going to talk about this he knows that he's getting what he wanted here jimmy Dore got glenn greenwald on to talk about how great jimmy Dore is for journalism when I don't think Jimmy Dore has ever done any journalism. He is a self-professed stand-up comedian who does a talk show host. He, he's never described himself as a journalist until recently. And now all of a sudden, he's not only a journalist, but the greatest journalist who's ever lived? What? What? I'm like, I just like, what am I? Doesn't make any fucking sense. Uh, and so both of these people are clowns. So I just wanted to be very uh, upfront with that. And again, he, he does a better show while high well, guess what, motherfucker? You're not the only one, Jimbo. Thank you for watching.